Here is a Kenmore branded dehumidifier. I would guess this is probably a Whirlpool product. This is from the era where stuff was starting to get cheap, but it's not like total abysmal junk yet like it is today. This probably has a pretty conventional design with a reciprocating compressor and a serviceable fan motor. It does have the R22, of course, otherwise I wouldn't have gotten it. Pull 6.5 amps, so definitely pretty decent performance. Uh, R22, 9.9 .9 ounces, 65 pints, so it's a decent amount of power to it. There's the model number and the serial number. Those don't mean anything to me, but I'm sure somebody can tell me when this is from. I don't see a date code that's in plain English anywhere. Uh, but if it's 22, it's got to be at least 2000s. I would put this somewhere in the early 2000s. I mean, other than the fact that it's white instead of wood grain, this has a pretty conventional design to it. Unfortunately, the bucket is missing, but I think the water just comes out right there, so it would be easy to uh, convert this to continuous drain and um, I think that just presses in to turn it on. Actually, it was kind of jammed. <laughs> Should have left it jammed. Um, here's the coil. It's got a very yellowed filter, but it seems to still be plenty pliable. It does have some early stages of rust decay, but overall it's not bad. It's pretty clean. It's in pretty decent shape. Tubes are kind of small. I would have expected something a bit bigger, but it doesn't mean it doesn't work good. It looks like it's three layers thick. Or two. No, only two layers thick. It does have the Digitan controls, but it's pretty humid in here. It's 65%, uh, so we should be able to get it to come on. Now, if it frosts up, it's not necessarily an indication there's a problem because it's only 51 degrees in here, so it's kind of cold. Um, realistically, once you get below like 70, 65 degrees, you can expect ice and it's perfectly reasonable on a charged correctly system. Well, let's turn this thing on. Well, first, uh, it's going to require power to operate, which is pretty reasonable. So now we'll try again. We have a 70 percentile uh, thing on the screen. And it says bucket full. I guess I'm just going to have to uh, extend the tripod a little bit. Excuse the uh, shaky and noises here for a second. Uh, I extend the tripod so that you can see the control panel. There we go. So 70%. Looks like it has a an interesting feature of running uh, on like a time basis, three hours on, three hours off, or six hours on, six hours off. That's kind of interesting. That's not something that you see very often at all. Um, well, I'm not really sure. It's kind of confusing because um, it's constant the same as this so is it is it only like I guess constant would be 
So this is one of the reasons why I don't like electronic controls is they're usually not clear or they're not as clear as a dial. So is constant just continuous operation or is it continuous operation until it reaches the desired humidity level of 40%? It doesn't seem to go any lower than that. So I guess that's constant. It's all this energy star baloney here, which I don't like. All right, um, I need to, I guess, press in that button on the back. Yeah, the thing needs to be pressed in for the thing to be satisfied. Let's see if I can jam something in there to make it stay pressed. That should work just fine. Yeah. That will kind of work. Work enough to get us through the video. Let's turn it on again and let's see if this has any charge. Okay, the bucket full indicator is off, so I don't know if it just doesn't work. Or if there's a time delay. I would expect to hear some kind of clicking from these controls as the relays change, and I don't. So I wonder if we have something wrong with the controls. I could see maybe the compressor having a delay, but I don't see why the fan would have a delay as well. The bucket full indicator is definitely off, so it should um, it should be coming on. Well, I'll let it sit for a little while and see if it if it decides to come on. Uh, maybe it just has a a delay, or the humidity that could be bad. I mean, now it's up to sixty four percent, so I think that it really should be it should be on. All right, well, I'm gonna go do something else for a few minutes and I'll come back and see if this turned on. I'll leave it recording and if it does turn on, I'll just cut the video and chop out the blank space until, until it comes on. This has been on for at least 10 minutes now, or on, whatever that means, and it's not doing anything, so. I think we have some kind of failure here, either a control failure or a mechanical failure. I tend to think it's a control failure because it's probably unlikely that the compressor and the fan would be broken, but I guess it's not inconceivable. So we'll have to do a troubleshoot on this one to figure out what's going on.